If there's a problem with the engine, the engine ECU will generate a trouble code or a diagnostic trouble code or a DTC. And then you'll see this alarm pop up. First, you have to acknowledge the alarm by pressing the check mark. And then on this screen, so long as the code is active, you'll see the active codes in the bottom left. And then this icon indicating that there is still an active trouble code or problem with the engine. To get more information about the trouble code, press any soft key and then click on the bell icon. And then you can see a list of all the stored and active fault codes. The stored codes are indicated with the S and then the active codes are indicated with the A. To get more information about a particular code, scroll to the code and then click on the question mark and you can find more information about the code as well as the number of times that this particular fault code has occurred. To exit out of this menu, press the exit icon and then continue until you get to the main menu. If the engine temperature exceeds 230 degrees Fahrenheit, you will get a diagnostic trouble code for high coolant temperature, and the engine will shut down in order to protect the engine. A fault code like this will pop up, and what's different about this fault code versus a regular fault code is the text at the bottom that says engine DTC shutdown. So you can acknowledge this fault code, and then you'll see the engine speed has dropped to zero, and now we have an active fault code icon, but we also have a DTC stop icon, indicating that this particular fault code has shut down the engine. The two fault codes that can shut down the engine are coolant temperature fault codes and a low oil pressure fault code. For diagnostic purposes, it may be useful to know what software version is installed on the panel that you have. To get this information, enter the setting menu, arrow up to get down to system, and then hit enter, and then arrow down to the about section and hit enter. And this will be the information that you will need to provide to troubleshoot what a potential software issue may be. For diagnostic purposes, since this main screen only shows limited parameters. You can enter the DB viewer through the main menu, the diagnostics menu, and then DB viewer. Here additional parameters from the engine ECU can be found. And scrolling through you can find parameters such as soot load, which can be very useful in determining what the cause of your after treatment issues might be if they arise. To get more information about the analog inputs to the panel, you can enter the main menu, then the diagnostic menu, and then IO status. Analog input three is the fuel sender, and analog input four is the oil pressure sender. The fuel input, analog input three, should read between 240 and 33 ohms if it is functioning correctly. Analog input four, the oil pressure, should read between 10 and 180 ohms if it is functioning correctly.